concept of dominance law of dominance it stated that one character expressed in f1 generation another another character not expressed in f1 generation still that hidden so why one character expressed in f1 generation and why another character not expressed in f1 generation why we call it as one gene is the dominant gene and why we call it another gene is the recessive gene in wild species all genes that are the same express same character for example height of stem these are the two genes these two alleles express the same character but due to some mutations one allele changes one allele that changes so here one allele that changes it becomes the like this one so it is the g it is the allele that express character normally and another allele if it was defected it may express the character normal or it may less efficient to express that trait or it may never show such type of trait that means for example it produces the g uh, enzyme an enzyme one allele that produces the normal normal allele that produces enzyme normally but the affected one that may produce normal enzyme less efficient enzyme or no enzyme at all so dominance of this allele is not the character of that allele actually it is the inefficiency of this allele for example here the two students are present both are getting 100 out of 100 because of the some reasons one student not studied well so he secured the less marks so first person getting the 100 marks and second person get less marks so 100 marks getting it is not the efficiency of this one then the top position or the dominance of this student actually because of the inefficiency of this one so dominance of one allele is not the character of that allele because of the inefficiency of that another allele it is the concept of dominance so because of the some mutations or the some changes in another allele its efficiency decreases because of that one allele express its character normally and another allele unable to express its character normal uh, normally so one character that express dominant that means we observe that is dominant when present in two or heterozygous condition and one allele normally it produces that character and another allele unable to produce that character so only one character express in f1 generation and another character not express in generation when this character express when these two defective genes present together in such condition only that character express up to whenever the normal gene present that character not express so when tall allele dwarf allele present together only tallness expressed out dwarfness never express it is the concept of dominance back cross back cross and test cross when pure tall cross with pure dwarf we obtain hybrid tall in f1 generation if we cross f1 hybrid with dominant parent that is called back cross 
if we cross f1 hybrid with recessive parent that is called test cross generally we call it as all test crosses are back crosses but all back crosses are not test crosses now come to this one back cross f1 hybrid that produces two types of gametes suppose in the back cross or f1 hybrid that cross with the dominant parent from the dominant parent only one type of allele present in case only one type of gamete is formed and in case of the f1 hybrid that produces two types of gametes so all are tall all are tall so f when f1 hybrid cross with the dominant parent or in back cross all progeny are tall all they can the capital t so all are tall so 100% tall no dwarf so in back cross no dwarf is formed no recessive character express then what is the advantage of this back cross to obtain all dominant genes back cross is useful to produce all dominant characters why it is called test cross suppose a plant it was given and observe whether a plant it was given is the homozygous condition or heterozygous condition to test whether a given plant is homozygous in condition or heterozygous in condition we conduct the test cross that means the plant crossed with homozygous parent homozygous recessive parent suppose here it produces the only one type of gamete small t only it produces the two types of gametes capital t small t so when they cross capital t small t small t small t it is a 50% and it is a 50% tall 50% dwarf 50% when we obtain the given plant is in heterozygous condition if the plant that was given in homozygous condition all are the same kind that means if the plant it was given as the tall that is the homozygous tall all are tall if in the cross we obtain one is to one ratio tall and dwarf 50% tall 50% dwarf the given plant is in heterozygous condition so it is the cross for testing whether a given plant is in homozygous condition or heterozygous condition that's why it is called test cross so phenotypic ratio of test cross 1 is to 1 50% tall 50% dwarf genotypic ratio of test cross 1 is to 1 both phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio is 1 is to 1 in test cross but in case of the back cross phenotypic ratio all are tall 2 is to 0 genotypic ratio that is a 1 is to 1 so in both back cross and test cross genotypic ratio the same 1 is to 1 back cross and test cross in mono hybrid cross back cross either in mono hybrid cross or di hybrid cross that is conducted mainly to produce all dominant characters the term factors that are used by mendel now we call them as a genes there are the two persons they coin the different technical words and these two persons are batson and another one johansson terms coined by batson genetics homozygote heterozygote f1 generation f2 generation and alleles 
these are the technical words first coined by batson genetics the term genetics the term homozygote heterozygote f1 generation f2 generation and ll all these words are coined by batson and johansson he coined the term gene pure line phenotype genotype these are the words coined by johansson mendel used the word factors something that transferred from parents to offspring he named that something as factors now we call them as a gene and the term gene that first coined by johansson